we want to find the maximum and minimum values of the function f of x equals three x minus four sine x on the closed interval from zero to pi radians, and we want to round the final answers to four decimal places. The directions may also say find the absolute extrema on the closed interval. To do this, we'll first find the critical numbers of the given function on the open interval. Step two, we'll then evaluate the function at the critical numbers. Step three, we'll evaluate the function at the endpoints of the closed interval. And then finally, the least of these function values is the minimum or absolute minimum, and the greatest of the function values is the maximum or absolute maximum. So to begin, we'll find the critical numbers by finding the derivative function and determining where it's equal to zero or undefined. So f prime of x would be equal to the derivative of three x, which would be three, minus four times the derivative of sine x, so we'd have minus four cosine x. Well, this function is never going to be undefined, therefore to find the critical numbers, we'll set this equal to zero and solve for x. So we'll subtract three on both sides of the equation. And now if we divide both sides of the equation by negative four, we'd have cosine x equals three-fourths. So now to solve this equation for x, we'll take our cosine or inverse cosine of both sides of the equation. So inverse cosine of cosine x is equal to x, so we have x equals inverse cosine or arc cosine of three-fourths. And now we'll go to the calculator to get our decimal approximation for x. Let's first make sure that we are in radian mode. We'll press the mode key. Notice how radian is highlighted. If it wasn't highlighted, we put the cursor on radian and press enter. And now we'll go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit. And we'll enter second cosine for inverse cosine or arc cosine. Enter three-fourths, close parenthesis, and enter. Because we'll round the final answer to four decimal places, let's round this value to five decimal places. So x will be approximately 0 0.72273. So if you were to sketch this angle in standard position, it would be less than pi over two radians, and therefore this angle would be in the first quadrant. So it might look something like this. But we do want to consider all the angles on the open interval from zero to pi radians, which would be from here to here, but in this case, we will not have another angle because notice how if we sketch the reference angle in the second quadrant, the cosine function value would be negative, but we know it has to be positive three-fourths. But it is important that we check this to make sure we're not missing a critical number that may be from an angle terminating in a different quadrant. So because we have one critical number, we'll now evaluate the function at the critical number as well as the two endpoints. So we'll now find f of 0 0.72273, f of zero, and f of pi. The smallest of these function values will be the absolute minimum or minimum, and the largest function value will be the maximum or absolute maximum. Let's go ahead and find these function values on the next slide. And let's go ahead and do this using the graphing calculator. So for the first step, we'll enter the original function into y1 by pressing y equals, and enter the function. So we'll enter three x minus four sine x. And now I'll go back to the home screen and enter a y1 of these three inputs. So we'll press a second mode for quit. And now to access y1, we'll press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, and in parentheses, our first input of 0 0.72273 close parenthesis and enter. Running to four decimal places, the function value would be approximately negative 0 0.4775. For f of zero, notice how we would have three times zero minus four times sine zero, and since sine zero equals zero, we'd have zero minus zero or zero. And then for f of pi, again we'll press vars right arrow, enter, enter, and in parentheses pi. So the function value is approximately 9.4248.
which means the minimum function value, or the absolute minimum, is approximately negative 0 0.4775, and the absolute maximum, or maximum value, is approximately 9.4248. So again, the absolute minimum function value, or minimum value, is approximately negative 0 0.4775 at x equals approximately 0 0.72273. And the absolute maximum, or the maximum value, is approximately 9.4248 at x equals pi radians. Let's finish by analyzing the graph on this closed interval. It's a little hard to tell, but notice how the smallest function value on this closed interval looks like it is approximately negative 4.775. And it occurs at this x value, which is approximately 0 0.72273. And the largest function value on this closed interval is approximately 9.4284. which does occur at x equals pi radians. I hope you found this helpful.